Hi, this is the instructional video for the microbiome stool test, also known as the gut pathogen test by Vibrant America or Vibrant Wellness. So when you get home, you wanna make sure that you have everything that's necessary in your kit. So you can go ahead and open that. First thing you wanna make sure you have is your lab requisition form. On the requisition form, we should have filled out your name and date of birth. We should have also signed the lab requisition form by the physician. And we also should have checked off that you need the vibrant gut sumer. If this isn't checked off, you can go ahead and check it off yourself. However, if any of the physician information is missing, just give us a call and we can send you a new one. Also very important to fill out is the payment information page. They are going to be unable to run the test unless they have your payment. And front and back on the sheet is um, some patient history. We will also go ahead and highlight everything on the form that you need to fill out so that it's easy to locate for you. <clears throat> so you can go ahead and put that to the side for now. Take out your materials out of the box. Go ahead and open the bag. In the bag, you should have your collection hat. Should open up like this. Some absorbent material. A pair of gloves. and your CNS tube needed to send out the sample. Just make sure it's not leaking or anything like that. And on the side of the bag, um, it won't be inside of the bag, it's gonna be in this little flap here. It's just some instructions that you can hold on to. Um, do not throw away this bag, you will need it to ship out the specimen. You can put that to the side. And the instructional sheet is 14 steps front and back, as well as some examples of um, the samples that will be rejected. Okay, you can keep those on hand if you need them. And we can get started on the test. So a couple of things to keep in mind before you start the test. Um, you don't want to put on the gloves quite yet. It is to keep the sample that you take um, free from any other um, components. So um, before you start, just don't put those on yet. Um, you also want to make sure that if you have to urinate, you want to do that before and just go ahead. Um, then you want to lift up both the toilet cover and the toilet seat. So make sure those are both up and you wanna give it a good wipe down. Try not to use um, any chemicals, any Clorox wipes, um, any bathroom cleaners, because it might contaminate the sample. Just use a clean paper towel. Go ahead and wipe down the bowl and throw that away. At this point, you can go ahead and put on your gloves. And you can get started. You want to take your collection hat, go ahead and unfold that. You should see some adhesive um, on all the flaps. Go ahead and remove the one towards the back. And you can go ahead and place it on the back of the toilet seat. Also very important to keep in mind, make sure that um, none of the paper from the collection hat touch the water. And just go ahead and remove the adhesives. Place.
this point, you can go ahead and put down the toilet seat. And you can go ahead and deposit your sample. We are going to use raisins as an example. Okay. Once your specimen is deposited, um, you can actually take your CNS tube And there is actually a little scoop located underneath the cap of the tube. So you want to take that, take some sample, and fill, uh, you're going to want to fill the tube until this red liquid is up to the red line. Do not overfill the tube at all or else the sample will be rejected. They will not be able to run the test. So just up to this line. should look like that. <clears throat> All right, go ahead and put the cap back on. Screw it on tightly. With the adhesive tape and the collection hat, you can just go ahead and peel it off. And you can flush everything down the toilet. Perfect. So go ahead and close that. Next, you want to take your bag your sample and your absorbent material. Go ahead and put that in there. Seal it up. And this is the test that you have to send out right away. So um, once you do that, you can go ahead and put it into the box. Don't forget your lab requisition form on top shipping label is already on there for you so you can either um, go to a FedEx location and drop it off it is FedEx um, or you can schedule a pickup you can call them and schedule that if you have any questions about the test or shipping just give us a call uh, other than that, it should be all set, and your results should be with us in a couple weeks. Thank you.